Hi, I'm Nylon's Litus, and welcome to the Nylon's Litus channel. So this is my second time shooting this video. The first time, my camera went wrong, and it flipped all the footage, and also, that wasn't the main reason I could have done that. Um, the light shot out everything, so when I tried to do anything. <laughs> so if I move, it's, right now, the camera's rested on a little laundry basket, so I'll try not to move. Because I'm filming this on my bed, because the window's right beside me. Alright, this is all my geeky slash nerdy stuff ever that I have in my house that I feel like looking up. So, let's go! It's the Enterprise E. Engage. Makes sounds. Makes Captain Picard sounds. Let's see. Enterprise E. NCC1701E. It has escape pods. And it has a little mount, but I don't know where the mount's going. And my favorite thing is it has little escape pod slots. Are, are those the escape pods? I don't know. I think those are the, where the escape pods come out. Whatever. And it has impulse engines and the shuttle bay and the other shuttle bay. That's even. That's probably not a shuttle bay. That's a shuttle bay. Whatever. Next, my Starfleet patch. See, Starfleet. Night Federation of Planets. Yeah. My communicator. That makes sounds. And has a cool little thing on it. There we go. Spock Bobblehead! That used to make sounds, but he's out of batteries, and I don't know where I'll get a cell battery like this, so I don't want to find one. Yeah, live long and prosper, but I'll punch you first. A communicator, um, pl er, thing. Oh, what were these called? They're, they're, they're the wall mount things. Um, and they make sounds. And then they make other sounds. Come on. Oh no, that's the wrong mode. If I go in that mode... Come on. It makes the door sounds! And that would be your door opening and closing. But I was never able to. And then this one... Wait. Come on. Goes into red alert mode. Come on. Stop! Did this last time. It did this last time. Shut up. Shut up. Stay. Is that the Star Trek stuff? That's the Star Trek stuff. Let's move on. It's my Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is my 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Which actually this is going in the reverse order. Um, and 12th, actually. 12 has the same one, so that one. It makes cute sounds and does multiple different sounds. There we go. And it's broken. That sound is. That sound isn't. And that opens. And then you have to press the big red button when it's in this mode, because the button thing moves. Or you can just press right there. See? Tip, if you own one of these, you can press the button right there if you don't want to touch the big red button at the bottom. There's, there's the buttons right there. Tenth Doctors, Sonic Screwdriver. And nines, actually. Totally forgot. Things falling off. And this is actually a UV pen. Like a... UV? Is it UV? It's an invisible ink pen, and this is actually one of those invisible ink lights. So... Yeah. It's not a black light, but like, you can't... You can't search for blood using it. But, makes sounds. A bit different for each mode. But, my Doctor Who's diary slash journal, that's, I don't use actually. It's just, it's, it has a lot of cool artwork in it. And it has all these little things from each of these shows. And then at the end, there's the TARDIS. And at the beginning, there's also a TARDIS. And there it is. Yeah, I could never write in this. Oh, but I will show you this, because this is kind of cool. Is that they have the, uh, BBC posters for all of them, so that Bells of St. John, which I love that episode, Rings of Akatan, which had that song, um, is it each month is a different episode? Oh, then there's the Cold War one, which actually I do like a lot, that July one, and I actually just noticed it says Canada one day, is it made by BBC? This is made by the BBC, written in China, huh. Has Canada Day, but isn't printed in Canada, that's weird. Next one is my biggest Doctor Who item. And the most expensive of all my Doctor Who items. Unless I had a TARDIS, then that would be the most expensive, because I would love a TARDIS. Um, if you want to send me a TARDIS, please email me. 
I love Darius. Um, it's my tenth Doctor jacket, like a, a replica. See, a little bit thicker than his, but doesn't matter. See, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. See, um, and it has, and I have these little patches on it, which make me laugh. So, Master of a Parallel Universe, and which has a parallel like that, and then Experienced Time Traveler. Like the doctor would probably wear if he had a badge like that. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. <laughs> now on to some other stuff. All my Nintendo stuff. Look. It's my thing. It's my Game Boy. Pokemon Edition. I love this thing. Um, my friend. I bought it off a friend. So, yeah. It has Pokemon stuff on it. Yeah. And I also have, um, slicing it in right now. Uh, Pikachu N64 edition with, um, stuff. Pokemon games. Stadium, Snap, and Stadium 2. I used to have Hey You Pikachu, um, but I gave that to a friend for his birthday. Funny story about Hey You Pikachu. Um, I wanted that game so badly ever since I saw a commercial on the Pokemon 3? 3? I want to say it was 3 because I don't have 3 anymore. Um, VHS tape of the Pokemon the movie 3 um, with Entei. Um, where he steals Ash's mom. Um, but, <laughs> that, I always wanted Hey You Pikachu, and then I got it, and then it was total crap for Christmas. Yeah. Also, I have this Pokeball that opens. Also, this. This is my Game Boy SP. Um, front lit and everything, and it's an amazing thing. Um, I wish it did, I wish they did backlight instead of front light, but it still looks good. But, the whole reason I have it here is because this is Tetris in the back, and Tetris is my favorite game. Well, actually, probably is actually my favorite game of all time. Nothing has really made it better. Like, but... This is... so... Yeah. That was tough. And final Nintendo thing, actually, is my Super Mario Bros. Processed Cheese Spread Cheese Whiz. Um, jar. Yeah. That is amazing. Actually, it's from Kraft in 1989, so, yeah, this would have been the first Super Mario Bros. Cheese Whiz jar. Like, uh, game. I guess. Um, this is amazing, and it's just little Mario, and I used it as a gummy. And then I ran out of gummies. I'll probably use it as gummies again. Gummies are good. Next. Random stuff, I don't know what category to put them in, and I don't have enough to put them in. Portal turret, that's camo. And he came from a blind bag, and he's kind of cute. See? Are you still there? And I can't do a portal sound effect, but he's my lovely little buddy. Um, I actually wish... They made a monitor made of one of these, which is just a thing that sticks on your monitor. Maybe they might, because I wouldn't mind the monitor made. I know they make a TARDIS one, but this would be a wonderful monitor weight. Mate, that's what they call it. My Iris 9000. It's from ThinkGeek, and it's... Ooh. It's um, a little speakerphone for your iPhone, but I don't have an iPhone. But it's a little Bluetooth speaker if you wanted to, and it's you can answer calls and stuff. You can put it in then. But also, I just use this also as it has a headphone port <laughs> as a Bluetooth receiver. So, yeah. My Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These wonderful things that I love. I wish I played it more. Um, since I moved, I don't know who to play Yu-Gi-Oh with. Um, if anybody knows who to play Yu-Gi-Oh with, I would like to play. Um, this is my Elemental Hero deck. And they're all Konami cards and they're all wonderful. See? So, yeah. Yeah, they're all here. Um, I'll just go through them quickly in case you want to look at them. Uh, you can kind of see some cards, I guess. Whatever. Um, but no, this is my Elemental Hero deck, and I've won games with these. I've lost games with these. I'm not the best. I'm a vote medium in Yu-Gi-Oh. Though my friends were probably just really good. Um, I think this is probably the last thing, and this is going way faster than last time. It was 20 minutes last time! And then my video was wrong. So, this is my dragon. This is the dragon from Skyrim. Um, the final dragon. And the one that almost kills you. Actually, saves your life, I think. More than anything. He saves your life. I think that's this dragon. And he's... 
I was actually really surprised. I got this when Skyrim came out because um, it was actually really cheap to get the special edition, which came with an art book, which I sold or uh, gave away. And then um, Skyrim, which I traded because I got bored of the uh, Skyrim on Xbox. Lot, like, really long loading times and stuff. But this is really detailed and it really is spiky and it hurts to hold it. So, yeah, he's my little... He's the only collectible figure I think I own, but everything's just so well detailed on him. Yeah. The metallic look. Looks really good. And he yeah, has a stand. If I was Dragonborn, I could probably learn something from this, but... Can you do anything? No, it's just it's solid. This isn't as well detailed, but it still looks cool. That's his little stand that he doesn't put on. Yeah. Well, that was all my geek stuff. I have lots more stuff around the house, I think. Um... Sorry about the shaking, because I don't have anything to stabilize. Um, and the autofocus, or not the autofocus, the glare off the sun was too um, intact to do this where I usually do it, so. Yeah, from me and Mario, and Spock, and that one dragon, goodbye. Oh yeah, and also, I just had a thousand video views. So thank you very much for watching my videos a thousand times, people. Come on, that's pretty cool. For me, that's amazing, and with 16 subscribers, I think that's really cool. So, yeah, that's what happens when you, uh, when you have to make a video about your school. You get lots of views on it. I want to share that. Well, thank you for watching. Goodbye.